Aaron Burr was desperate to start a bank. And his enemy, Alexander Hamilton, the first U.S. Secretary of Treasury, the starter of the Bank of New York, the Prince of Treasury at the time, was not about to let his Republican enemy get his hands on money or start a bank. So Burr saw an opportunity in the fact that people thought that the yellow fever, which was still decimating the population, killing hundreds and hundreds of people, was caused by dirty water. So there was this idea that clean water would stop the yellow fever. So Aaron Burr had to find another way to start a bank and he started the Manhattan Company in 1799, which he dubbed a municipal waterworks. It was a private company that said its intention was to provide pure water to New Yorkers, but it became very corrupt very quickly. There was no accountability for clean water and also it decimated residential streets trying to build these wells and pipes and then not keeping them up. So there was a lot of damage, but even worse than being known for its dirty water, there was a clause in the whole Manhattan Company deal that basically said that any of its surplus money could be used for buying and selling, basically banking. So Aaron Burr got what he wanted. He got to create a bank without any concern about actually providing clean water. Not only was the Manhattan Company known for its dirty water, but then it became known as Chase Manhattan Bank. 